Hey, that was a great day out in the water, Brett, and um, thanks for the uh, use of your boat. No worries. And uh, pity we dropped that fish, but we'll try again, eh, next time? <laughs> yep, um, yep, well, that's, yeah, well, that's fishing, mate. Yeah, oh, that's how it goes, eh? Uh, now, I'd like to introduce you to Kevin Sharp from Evanwood, New Zealand. Um, this is Brett Griffith. Um, G'day, Kevin. How are you? So, I'll just, yeah, give you a bit of a story of uh, what we've been doing. So, we've been out over the Manukau Bar today, fishing, game fishing, uh, for swordfish. And um, so, the boat is a, a 650 Senator. Uh, it's a New Zealand built boat, aluminium pontoon style, with a uh, 150 four stroke output on it um, that Brett's been uh, using for game fishing for a couple of years. And so we thought this would be a great base to try the uh, the 140 Evan route on. Yeah, um, so yeah, Brett, um, yeah, Kevin rang me a couple of weeks ago and, um, and said, look, they've got this new engine coming out, the new uh, G, part of the G2 range. So it's a, it's a three cylinder, 140 horsepower. Uh, but they said, have you got a, um, a, a customer that uh, it's out there fishing all the time, does high hours, and then that's that's you you pop them in mind straight away. You know, it's um, it's an ideal situation for that engine to trial. Um, yep. We know what your what your old four stroke does, um, so that was great that Kevin's uh, given us the opportunity to to trial this motor on your boat. So you you've had one major fishing trip in the boat, and, yep. and you obviously um, <coughs> drove out over the the Wild West, the Manukau Bar. Do, do you feel confident about? The performance when you're negotiating a bar situation is that engine yep. doing the job for you? Yeah, I was, I was a little bit worried about that being um, enough power to uh, to push it um, across the bar or whatever. But um, I, I feel yeah, that that motor was just it was ample yep. grunt for it. You know, yep. um, pushed it along amazing. It was awesome. Yep. You haven't gone backwards going from the 154 stroke with the. No, no, been? no, definitely not, no. Yeah, we went a long way today. I, I think we did, was it nine hours? Yeah. Nine hours with the motor on, so, um, yeah. Um, I think we worked out uh, total awesome. use was about, a, uh, was about 110 litres for the trip. Um, and we used, uh, I think 1.2 litres of oil um, when, yeah. I, when I checked, so. Yeah, right. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. 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 as opposed to, uh, I'd probably use what 130 litres um, for a similar trip with, so with the other yeah one 150 four stroke motor so yeah. mm. and and that's a sort of a trip that you you you're comfortable with stating that that, that yeah definitely have got a fuel economy improvement oh definitely yep yeah. yep yeah. yes yeah so obviously you spend a fair bit of time um, trolling um, for marlin yeah. Uh, Fuel, fuel burn for, for that trolling, that trolling speed, what is it, the magic seven and a half knots thereabouts? Yeah, yeah, I usually troll it at seven and a half knots, yeah. Um, yeah, we're using five litres an hour um, with the 140 two stroke. Yep. Um, I'd probably be using, what, 8.9 to nine and a half, yep. you know, with the four stroke. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there was a, Definitely a considerable. Noticeable there. Yep, there was yep. a considerable. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, change there. So, yeah. yeah. And that's it. When you're operating those sort of hours and you do it over a couple of days, um, that's a that's a notable saving in fuel. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, that's right. Mm. For sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'm I'm out pretty much. Well, I try to get out once a week. You know, when the, the wife allows me to. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So so I'm doing a lot of fishing, and yeah, um, you know, it's usually eight to nine hours a day. The motors on the whole time so yeah, yeah. that's, that's a big thing for me is the uh, is fuel economy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah well, i think this has got uh it's, it's got a lot more get up and go um yeah um yeah. i think it accelerates a bit better than the i think so yeah 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 no the, the, the get up and goes you know a, a, a lot better and um yeah so like a lot more econ you know economical surprised when I started it up you know it just um, yeah it was uh, just as quiet as, as my, my old full stroke yeah. so yeah no, it's good I mean you can hear it now it's look it's just humming along you're, you're peering away you, 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 can't, you can hardly hear it really okay so the boat the boat itself tell us a little bit about the boat what is it it's a so it's a six and a half meter senator fairly heavy I guess um, yeah, when I got it, um, you know, it sort of opened up a, a world of fishing for me. So, no, no, that's that's all I've been doing now, though, is basically um, fishing for marlin and and, um, and swordfish. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Winter's, yeah, winter's hit now, so that's right. Sword fishing season, so it's a slightly different style. You know, we're doing a uh, not trolling speeds as such, but we're doing a, um, a lot of idling. Oh, a lot of and backing, backing up, down, backing up on, yeah, backing onto up. it, yeah, mm, yeah. yeah. So, and it's a long way up. And it's a long way up. Yeah, yeah further, it's further than we would go for, for you know, if we're trawling for marlin, marlin or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So what what's what fishing are you going to do on the in, in the non marlin season? Is there any other sort of fish you target? Yep. Yeah, I like, I like to go pocket fishing. So um, you know, and the odd snapper fishing yeah. behind the bar. So yeah. Yeah. So so once we've sort of finished um, doing our thing with you know sword fishing and that, we'll. Um, you know, we'll, we'll do a big run and, and yeah, get out to our poker spots and yep. yeah. How, how far offshore do you have to go for poker? Uh, Travelling, I don't know, it must be an hour and a half uh, to two hours. Yeah, I think it's about, uh, it's about 20 to 25k offshore, basically, so it's a fair way. Yep. New Zealand looks like a little island, basically, yep. when you're at there. Yeah. I, I travel a lot further than that, actually, mm. to, you know, to where I... I yeah, if I you're at about a thousand metre mark, I think that works at about 35k offshore, so, yep. yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that's a, uh, you gotta have a fair bit of confidence in, in the engine and in your gear, oh, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, most of my fishing's over, we have to go over that bar. It's a dangerous bar, and you know you need power to, you know, if you're coming in and you've got a wave behind you, you need to sort of get away. You know, mm. have that power and you have to run from it mm. to, to get away from yeah yeah to, to stay in front of that wave so uh, yeah no I'm, I'm confident mm. I'm right. confident yeah. as with that bar, bar conditions are never never the same twice you know they're yep. always different there right no, so that's right um, yeah, yep yep you expect anything so it's having the confidence in it yep. having a good engine as well sure. yeah. yep well, one of the other exciting things about it is, is we're talking about single engine here but in multiple mm. engine applications like dual rigs mm. which is a really big part of our market that's just a great horsepower. Yeah. 115, 140 horsepower and, and dual in installations, boats up to 8 metres, yeah. that, that's dynamic.